My name is Mark Hollingsworth. I am a visual arts curator and program manager here at the California African American Museum. Circles and Circuits is a collaboration with the Chinese American Museum in partnership with the Getty. I'm Nicola Wai. I'm an artist in Circles and Circuits, uh, and I have done a drawing installation for the exhibition. This work um, really kind of came about um, as a result of a series of works that I've been doing recently called the Vista series. Uh, and those works, in essence, are sort of about a material experience that is malleable, and a material experience that um, is about material in the elasticity of time. My name is Andrea Chung. I'm an artist. Um, I had a Fulbright and went to Mauritius, which is a very small island in the Indian Ocean. And they have a very similar history to the Caribbean. They were a sugar colony. They were colonized by the Dutch, the French, and the British. When slavery was abolished, you had to do a seven-year apprenticeship. But a lot of them refused to do it and took on fishing as a trade. So it became a generational trade that was passed down. And one of the methods of fishing that people do now is they um, line fish with bottles and they wrap the line around it and cast it into the water. But the trade is, is starting to die out. So I cast the bottles out of sugar and they're suspended from the ceiling. And over the course of the exhibition, the bottles will melt and pull and stretch to sort of simulate the disappearance of the trade. My dad is from Jamaica um, and his father was from China. Um, came to Jamaica when he was 17. My mother is from Trinidad and her mother was also mixed with Chinese and Arawak. I only got to know my grandfather for a short period of time, so a lot of the work that I did started off with just trying to get to know what that experience was like and just knowing more about the culture. And the more I've traveled, the more I've made connections with other people who have similar experiences. In the Caribbean, uh, lots of areas of the Caribbean like China, we don't even think about it. I mean, I, I know that I'm Afro-Asian, um, you know, my grandfather was, etc. but I don't sit down and think about being Afro-Asian in a sense. I just think about being Trinidadian and knowing that all of that is part of me and makes me and I've always been comfortable and happy with it. There is so many wonderful artists in the exhibition, especially because we have the, we are addressing the historical section, so we go back in time. This exhibition include, includes Chinese uh, Caribbean artists, uh, Afro-Chinese uh, artists, and Afro-Chinese artists who happen to speak Spanish. So I really think, uh, tell us so much about who we are, and that's my favorite thing about the show.